is storyboarding. All right. Storyboards are used to basically outline a whole um, shot or a whole video, um, a whole movie, uh, cartoons they use them. They use them all over the place. Um, some example storyboards that I found, uh, here's one right here. Uh, and it basically just has a set by set of what every little scene is going to be about before they go through all the work and all the animation and that kind of stuff. Um, just to be able to get the whole story down. Um, this one right here. This one has a little bit more. This is more of a... talks about the different types of shots here. Um, and there's no right or wrong way to do this as long as you can understand it and everyone else around you can understand it. So we're going to talk about these long shots, medium shots, close-ups later, but that's with these little LS and CU. Um, and it kind of just gives you like the dinner hall, the children and teachers have started eating. All right, so there's just telling you what's going on in the story. Um, and then make sure you also have like the sheet one and or something to let you know what sheet you're on because you have tons of different sheets. And then I got this one right here, um, a sample storyboard for here and this one. It also adds a little audio component here. Um, and we have the LS and the MS and the MS and this, so those are medium shots, long shots, stuff like that. And it has shot number. So you can go in through and that kind of thing. You have the A, B, A, B. So it's going to be, um, and they also have like some tilt to. So any kind of ideas, this is just basically like an outline how to get to it. All right, so the next part that we're going to do is we're going to do this in iMovie. We're going to storyboard something in iMovie. What I'm going to do is I'm going to choose to do a commercial. Um, it's a very popular commercial right now. It's the hump day for Geico. Um, if we watch this. All right, so what I did was um, I first downloaded the whole video. So if you haven't... Um, if you haven't done that yet, download the video off of wherever, off of the internet. Um, if you don't know how to do that, go to my video on taking videos from the internet. Uh, and then what you're going to do is you're going to select things. And basically what a storyboard is, is anytime you see a different type of shot. So if we go through this and kind of scroll through, this is the first shot. This is where the camera's at. And then it stops right there. Okay, so what we do is what we're going to do is we selected all of this clip right here. And I placed it down here. At the end of it, after you select it and put it in here, you go up to clip. And then what you do is do a special effect. Then you did like, I did like a flash and hold last frame. And that's how I got this thing right here. Okay, so, and there it went to the clip of shot one. So I just had uh, shot one. Camel says, uh-oh, what day it is? What day is it? Um, and then I found the next shot. So there's the next shot right here. And then that was it. That was the end of that shot. So that's the exact same thing I did for here. So in my video here. And then I just kind of made that my other shot. So this is kind of like a storyboard. Just a little bit different way of, um, of presenting it and that kind of thing. So what you're going to do is you're going to find your own video. I wouldn't do I would find a commercial or something like that. And you only want to do like 30 seconds because this takes a little bit of time. Uh, and then I want you to put the shot number and also, you know, what the if there's types of music, that kind of stuff, like down here at the end. Um, let's see where it starts at. All right, so right here at the end of this shot. Okay, so right there, the music starts. So I said, I have the Leslie, guess what day it is? It's hump day, woo woo, and then the music starts. All right, um, so any kind of music and that kind of stuff, you wanna also put that in there. Um, and I just added just the title. If you don't know how to do that, that's just these things up here. So what I want you to do is I want you to see this whole video here took 10 different shots. Now I also put an A here, well, like 9A. Um, and that is because I put here, I put nine B. Well, the reason I did that is because if you look, this shot right here and this shot right here are exactly the same nine A and nine B is the same exact camera. So what you end up doing is you end up, uh, taking 
all of the video and put it into this timeline and that's it thanks